in the particular case of Lebanon, I hope that with the better infrastructure, we may be better. Uh, there has been many announcements about uh, 3G coming and faster internet because Lebanon is the last country, last, really last, not that we are in the last section, we are the last country in the world in terms of internet speed. So with a better infrastructure, I think we can become better, but as far as we have this bad infrastructure, uh, there, there have been few success stories uh, from, from my country. And uh, I haven't developed entry goals, but I know one guy who made the equivalent game for Bernie Bird, Nana. It's a game with birds that you have to shoot in the Arab, uh, Arab uh, main cities. And he, he is doing very well. So they, they made this game a few, few weeks ago. Maybe you heard, heard about it uh, now. But I mean, Bernie Nana is the next Andrew Bird coming from Lebanon. And uh, in the case of Dermandar, which means all around in Arabic, it's Dermandar, I would like to say that uh, initially I was uh, very, very uh, tempted to change the name just to give it an easier name to pronounce for the whole world. But I just uh, was very stubborn just to say no. I mean, I know how to pronounce this name. It means a lot of things to me. And if people like it, they will take it. Or they, they don't like it. It's not linked to the name. So by just keeping this Arab name, we have made 1.3 million downloads worldwide. And I'm very, very proud of it that 1.3 million people have downloaded this app, though, I mean, it's a <laughs> uh, I mean, this, this app that was made with electricity shortage, with uh, 512 kilobits per second internet, with very, very limited amount of, I mean, in one download of the uh, SDKs, I mean, to, to develop this app, we need to download something from Apple. In one download of the, the tool, we had uh, taken all the uh, allowed uh, amount of uh, gigabytes for the whole month. So we, we couldn't work anymore. Just downloaded the tool, and then we had to wait one month just to download the update. This is a situation in Lebanon. Now. It's very, very possible. So I was just saying last time, uh, there was a conference, and uh, this is uh, Fadil was uh, listening to my uh, talk. I was saying that. In, uh, I mean, it was exactly what I said, and she wanted me to just say it in front of all uh, the, the candidates of this uh, uh, competition. Uh, so this is what I was saying, that uh, in the marathons that uh, people, uh, I mean, when people run this 40 kilometers, usually the Kenyan and the Ethiopian people wins because in their countries, the infrastructure, infrastructure is so difficult for them it's hot, they run maybe in high altitude with uh, very low amount of oxygen, and they, they maybe uh, they don't have uh, very good uh, shoes to run. When they go to Europe or the USA to run this marathon, they are provided with these shoes with air support, and they have all the oxygen they want, they have a good temperature, then they are number one. So knowing that we have an infrastructure that needs to be uh, improved, and we are uh, getting Good, good. Uh, I mean, the, the success that we have is good with this infrastructure. If we improve it, I think we may be number one. For the moment, we are limited uh, by, by the infrastructure. This is why my point of view limited to my experience being from this. Thank you.